Hi everyone, I'm uh, just, uh, we're just doing a video to show you um, how the tent pops open and sets up. Now obviously it's pop up, so it's super easy, um, but there's one or two things that if it's your first time ever, then uh, you might just need a little bit of guidance of. Uh, so we're going to try and show you. So obviously you've got the bag itself, so if we just unzip it, and I'm going to take the poles out and just put them to one side. And I'm going to take the bag off, and I'm just going to put that to one side. Um, because that's got some equipment in like the pegs and stuff that I'm going to need shortly. So I'm just going to put that down there. And on the tent itself, you will realise that you've got some yellow straps. There's one on this, there'll be two on yours. Um, and these just uh, hold it together and stop it from popping open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the strap off. I'm um, just going to be careful because as you do take it off, um, it will just pop open. You can see it now actually wanting to pop open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let go and I'm going to let it pop and it'll just sort of lay on the floor. Um, with a small pop-up tent, you can just pop it open because this is a, a large structure, a four man especially. Um, it just needs a, a little bit of unfolding. So I'll start off and I'll just show you. It's got me. There. So you've got the circle there. And all it needs is just a little bit Unfolding. Yeah. You do that, you give it a little bit of pull, and you'll see now that that has set up. So, I mean, as it is there, um, I mean, there's a slight breeze today, so you'll see it moving slightly. But if there's no breeze whatsoever, you know, you're just good, good to get in and go there. So, if you come over here. I'll show you how it's set up inside and uh, you'll see it there. So you can just use it straight away. Um, if you're actually in it yourself, then it's weighted down. But it is best to actually get a few pegs in around the tent and set it up. So just make it nice and neat. Put the doors away and stuff. It's nice that it looks, uh, make it look nice for your, your little stay. So what I'll do now, we move out. I'll um, get some pegs out of the bag, and uh, I'm just going to peg. Just peg it down a bit. There's there's quite a lot of pegging points around the tent. Um, the windier it is, the more sturdy you want it, the more you can peg it in. But I'm just going to put a couple down around the tent, and then to sturdy it. So I can show you how to set it up. So like I said, it's up to you how many you want to put in. But you can see now as I'm pushing them in, it's holding the tent down and giving it that, that nice shape. There. So once you've got a few in, I mean, I've literally just got a few pegs in there. But you can see it holding its shape, it's nice and sturdy. So your next choice is the guy lines. I mean, today, like I said, there's just a small breeze, so there's, you'll see there's no movement in the tent. But if it is windy um, and the breeze is picking up, then all you need to do is just peg the guy lines out. And what that'll do is it'll just sturdy it in the wind. You only need to put out I mean, there's absolutely no point setting up all these guy lines if it's not windy. There's, you know, there's not no point. But if you do get um, over breeze, just set it out until it's sturdy. Use, um, you know, use your initiative and just think, right, well, you know, it's a windy day. I'm going to put them all out, or just a slight breeze. I want it to hold its shape, and I want it to, you know, if the wind's blowing from this way, you can just put this side out. So, so I'm just going to put two in, just to try and save time in the video and not bore you with putting them all out and I'll show you some of the other things you can do so we've got the door mats on the tent so these are wrapped up in the toggles underneath here yeah. I'll just undo that there and you can pull these out and uh, set them up there. again just the pegs out of the bag um, the door mats give you that, um, you know, to stop you from traipsing mud into the tent. But they also, if you pull it, 
so that gives you that nice shape and extends your living space outside. Um, I like to put it when we put the doormats out to make sure uh, that you've got the peg in the door and that just holds down the front of the tent so you're not going to trip up over it when you're going in. So now what we've done, we've got the tent pegged out, got the guy lines in, we've got the doormats out. So I'm going to show you um, how to put the canopies up, should you wish. Um, like I said, it's all quite self-explanatory. But, you know, if it is the first time, it might be you're putting it up. It might be just one or two little things you don't know. So, we have got the extended canopy there. And you need the poles for to set this up. So, I took these out earlier. And they're in the bag there. And these are... Um, these, you can adjust the height of these. Um, they're nice and light. I'll just take these out and then put them on the floor, get them ready to set up. So in the bag you'll have a couple of guy lines as well, which you'll need to set these up. So basically you just put this just through, see, a bit of breeze there, just to straighten that up. Um, so with these you can change the, the height just by twisting them and holding them. And then all you need to do is just tie your guy line around the top like that pull it tight and then it's pegging it out to stabilize it so i'm just going to put that there pull this down and uh just put it through back there so let's put it through here let's get the guy line first get it so that you can get your peg in so it doesn't fall over when you get to get to the ground there we go so i'm going to pull that tight and peg that out and that just gives it that tension there and then I'm going to get this side done again just a little bit of a balancing act if you've got both sides um, if there's a bit of a breeze it's a little, tiny little breeze just picked up there so but as you can see it is nice and easy um, so again I'll just tie this around the top there you can adjust the height, they're a bit wonky, but for the sake of the speed of the video, I'll just leave it like that for a second. And again, just get that ready, put your peg in, like that, just pull it, get your peg in. You can adjust these, uh, the guy lines, so you don't have to go that long. But again, if I pull that down now, and like that, you'll see that. I'll just adjust it now after it and just get that just get that height the same and there you go so as you can see this is just a few minutes I could have done this much quicker but I just wanted to show you a video just how to set it up how easy it is um, the peg so just to summarize you've got the pegging points the guy lines you know put out as many as you feel are necessary to stabilize the tent and get that nice shape and structure you've got your doormat extended canopies just get to know your tent and enjoy it